One of the critical things um, in Baycrest is, is training of future generations of scientists and clinicians. And certainly that's part of the important uh, support mechanism that we have for research, both in terms of how trainees support research, but how we support trainees going forward as well. I think one of the unique things that we have here is because of the fact that the uh, approach to research is multidisciplinary, what we're really doing is training sort of a new breed of clinicians, a new breed of scientists that have a much more broad perspective on the factors that ensure brain health. So they're going to learn not only about imaging and how to study the brain from the perspective of acquiring data um, in ways you hadn't been able to do 10 years ago or 20 years ago, but also how to use that information to predict how someone's going to translate, for example, from mild cognitive impairment to dementia, how to stave that off, how to integrate that with therapy in the community. Much more broad approach to understanding the person in the environment and really how that might change as they age. And that will be the trainees coming out of Baycrest. Again, both basic scientists and clinicians will have that much more broad, more comprehensive, but much more effective approach uh, in the future.